Hi folks, uh, my name is Peter Gjorfi and here's another video uh, where I'm gonna go through a Fronos photo raw file edit. And this one is a tricky one. That I know. That I, I, you know, this one's not easy. Um, what sort of makes it difficult is look at look at the background. Look at the the background mountains. They are in. Um, this is this is full daylight. It's taken. Let's see at twelve thirty four p.m. So it's very hard light. The sun is sort of up in the sky, just banging down on the landscape, and the background mountains are they're overexposed as it is now um, and kind of has a you know low contrast and I think that's the, the reason for that is probably because the snow is bouncing up bouncing up and sort of um, bouncing the, the light up and uh, making the shadows less shadowy less dark brighter um, while the the foreground where there is no snow uh, we have kind of you know pretty dark shadows and uh, the contrast is pretty high um, this is a, this is a difficult situation in the middle of the day end of March this is end of March um, it's in the Patagonia so it's you know I'll, I'd love to go there and I, I, I will I would definitely take a picture even if it was in the middle of the day of course um, but it makes the the editing quite quite a challenge we'll see how how it goes what I what I'm thinking right now is darkening the background darkening the the uh, you know the the snow the, the mountains with the snow and uh, maybe even cool it down a little bit and it's pretty it's pretty cool right now what I what I want to do is create a difference I want to cool down the background mountains and I want I want to make sure the, the foreground is warm okay because by by adding by, by doing that I'm gonna add a, a three-dimensional effect I'm gonna add a, a depth in the image that that's gonna be you know uh, makes the image better basically and we'll see how I'm gonna do that I, I can use two methods one is split toning because you'll see that the back the background is is uh, where, all, where all the highlights are the foreground is where I have all my darker tones so by adding a split toning effect I can make sure that the, the highlights are, are blue that the, the the shadows of the dark areas are warm or I can use the the adjustment brush we'll see we'll see never mind um, <clears throat> now <clears throat> white balance I'm gonna warm it up a little bit I think it's too uh, I think it was too cool um, I don't really see a a tint I don't see a green or or a magenta cast anyway gonna go down one third of a stop uh, on the exposure I'm gonna add a little bit of fill light I think yeah not, not all the way up to 20 but up to 10 the blacks I'm gonna pull the blacks all the way down to zero because that opens up this this area right here which kind of disturbs me um, now the, the the background is still too bright but I'm gonna darken that later with the with the adjustment brush brightness that looks better I mean going from 50 to 30 adds you know make makes a huge difference to me I could even go I could even go lower but I'm not gonna do that now I'm gonna stick to 30 for now yeah 30 is okay contrast I don't want to go too high uh, say add just just up to 30 uh, clarity and so what I'm doing you see I'm going from from 20 to 0 20 to 0 the way to do that is place your mouse on top of the slider so it's kind of highlighted you see now vibrance is highlighted now clarity is highlighted and <clears throat> hold down the shift key just leave the mouse you don't have to touch the mouse hold down the shift key and press the up and down arrow keys to go to make sort of big adjustments and by doing that you can easily get a feel for what that change can do to the image if the effect is too strong let go of the shift key just press the the arrow keys and you'll have a smoother sort of change 
smaller change. Now, I don't want to go all the way up to, to 20 because I think that's too much. I'm going to stick with 10. Uh, vibrance, I'm actually going to add a little bit of little bit of vibrance and let's see what happens if I pull down Nah, I'm going to leave the saturation as it is tone curve, I'm going to leave tone curve alone I think yep, yeah, no, that's not the way I want to do it HSL, I don't see that I want to make any changes to any specific colors what I could do is, you know, add a little bit of saturation to the blue, but it's it's already now quite blue. And if I add a bit of saturation to the to the blue, with the intention of sort of blue to, to make the sky bluer, I'm also gonna add more blue to this area, for example, which I don't want. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> now here's the split toning panel. Let's see if I can if I can um, cool down the the uh, the highlights see there the highlights are very cool I don't want to go as far as 50% uh, maybe I'm just gonna go all you know down to say 10% that's usually quite quite a good start um, the shadows let's pick a warm tone pick a warm tone pick a pick a there it is uh, 43 and again 10 let's see Yeah, I'm not sure if it's sort of. It actually has quite a, quite a nice effect. I'm not sure if it's if it's evident in in the video, um, but it's it's quite okay. Let's see before and after. Here's the before. Here's the after. I mean, already now it's it's quite an improvement. Sharpness. Let's go all the way into one to one, hundred percent and make sure we sharpen what we want to sharpen and I'm just gonna add sharpening amount to 70 and then adjust the the masking some sharpening I, I, I mean look, look at this for example now I can see I'm holding down the alt or the option key to get the to show the the mask look at this now look at this area right here I don't want to sharpen the sky. I don't want to sharpen the sky. But listen, see, right now, I'm sharpening everything that's white. And I definitely don't want to sharpen the sky. So I'm going to pull the masking slider up until I see something that I like. And I don't want to. I don't want to sharpen the the face of these, the face of the mountains and all that stuff because now that's going to be okay. I'm going to sharpen the leaves and, and, and the bark and that, you know, the small details. Now, um, and I've also added the, the correct lens correction here. That's done. When I click reset, that's, that's applied by Lightroom. Now, a vignette. No, I don't want to add any vignette on this image. I rarely do on landscapes. Let's zoom out to one quarter again, so we can see the whole image. There we go. So now, with the adjustment brush, what do I want to do? I want to darken, say, this area right here. <clears throat> um, I don't want to darken it too much, though. So maybe um, a third of the stop was too much. Maybe I don't want to touch the exposure slider at all. Maybe I just want to, yeah, that's better. Because remember the exposure slider um, takes, sets the white point, basically. The brightness adjusts the midtones. And in this case, I want to keep the snow white. I don't want to, I don't want to make the snow gray. So I want to keep the snow white, but by adjusting the brightness slider, the snow more or less remains white while the you know the the mountains and the, the stuff that are mid gray or not gray uh, mid tones is is darkened a little bit all right so actually it adds a bit of contrast um, let's see if I want to add more contrast no 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 maybe yeah just a little bit 
I think. Now let's have a look at it before and after. Here's a before, before, here's after. One last thing that I want to do is um, darken the the upper right hand corner. I think it's a little too bright. It's too easy for the eye to just fall off the edge, fall off the that corner. So I'm just adding a, a graduated filter. And yeah, minus one third of a stop is okay. Let's see what the effect, how this looks like. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. I think this is um, this is what I'm gonna what I'm gonna stick to. Um, here's a black and white version. I, I don't really like that because the the tree sort of is not at all is blending into the background. It's blending into the mountains a lot more than this is. Um, yeah. Here it is, folks. I hope you uh, you learn something and. Uh, Stay tuned, more images to come. And I've also on my website, I've got a sort of a, a, a special collection with all the image, uh, with all the videos that I've done in English, recorded in English. So that's a, that's a good place to start if you wanna see more of what I've done. Um, thank you, bye.